super easy to use. Simply click your battery in to the holder. That will turn on the Wi-Fi router in the hub. It will also turn on your camera head. Give it about 15 seconds to, to boot up. So this is a Wi-Fi router which pairs directly to your device, Apple or Android only. You do not need third-party Wi-Fi. You could be in the middle of the woods and use this. Um, that's really convenient. Uh, it'll run for about six hours on a single uh, Milwaukee battery. Um, so a couple of batteries and you're literally inspecting all day. Simply download the Hawthorne app. It's called Hawthorne Pro 2. It's free in the Apple and the uh, Google App Store. And using it, it's very simple. Simply go into your Wi-Fi settings and find the router. They always put off a Hawthorne four numbers and a W. This one is 25114W. The password is always one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Super secure. It cannot be changed. Uh, just because it's convenient for everybody. Uh, that is now pairing itself to the hub. You can see there's a check mark. Simply close this out, start the Hawthorne app, and click connect. See we're streaming live. Footage counter on screen in half, half foot increments or meters for our friends in Australia and Europe. If you want to reset that footage counter, it's super simple. Three seconds till it blinks and resets to zero. You can even move the footage counter around the screen for those folks who like to have it in a different place or maybe it's uh, masking an obstruction in a pipe. You can also turn the sound on by pressing for five seconds. A little space invader will come up. Note there's not any interference on the screen. Uh, turn it off again, press for five seconds, and it will disappear. So that allows you to locate all of our Wi-Fi reels, all of our reels, whether Wi-Fi or not at Hawthorne, come standard with a 512 hertz sound. Um, really simple to use. You have to give the app access to your photos, otherwise there's nowhere for it to store. So when it asks you the first time when you install the app, uh, please give it access to photos. If you want to record, press the red button. It'll ask you recording with audio. This app enables you to actually talk over the video directly into the microphone on your camera or your tablet and it will put that over the video so you can make commentary on what you're seeing. Be careful, it will record anything that's said in front of the camera. I'm choosing to press OK. You can tell it not to. It is now recording. You can see the red numbers at the top. It also says mic, meaning it is recording an audio. You want to stop. Please ensure that it always says saved successfully at the bottom before you close the app or before you pull out your battery. Um, doing that will make sure that the file is saved successfully to the, to the uh, device. If you don't do that, the device will not have saved the video successfully. So a lot of first time users simply exit the app or pull out their battery. Um, and they usually only make the mistake once, but always make sure it says saved successfully at the bottom before you move on. That is now recorded to the photos folder on this tablet. You can also make a screenshot of it and simply exit the app if you want to find that photo. Go into your photos folder here. And here's the video. No more complicated than that. For some Android users we recommend that you download VLC Media Player to put all of your video files in the same folder. Different companies like Sony, LG, HTC, and Huawei will have different skins and thus put files in different locations. Downloading VLC Media Player for free allows you to actually put those in one location. It's super convenient for all of your other videos as well. If you want to send a video, it's really no more complicated than emailing, WhatsApp, text, provided that those platforms allow you to um, send uh, videos of size. This records at around five or six megabytes a minute, so keep that in mind. Uh, alternatively, you can buy USB dongles off of Amazon to plug into the bottom of your Apple or Android device. Um,